my Inkburst dollar sign here, and we're going to be creating a guide to survival. The first step Setting to do that is you want to go to play, play and play then world create a new world. Create new screen. Press on create new world, and then create new world. Create world settings. You screen. can change create everything about your world. Button. Default game. In my world, I'm Top gonna say it, it's gonna be just like this how it is already. Type but you can change it on your world. Button. Then you press on create, and then it will start loading up your world. So what our goal today is is it's trying to build a house and survive a night. Generating world. Generating well. And then after n the next day, we want to try to get some wool and wood to make a bed, well. so we can sleep through the nights. And then we want to try to get iron and coal. Done. Press Control or right button to open chat. Okay, it looks like I got a lucky spawn, and I'm not in the middle of an island. Wait, I got a super lucky spawn. If you didn't know, this is a really lucky spawn because this is one of the rarest but biomes in minecraft so let's explore it and let's see what we can find okay the first step is we need to get some stuff that we can build houses out of i think this is sand so that's the problem so we can't build the roof for this but we can build the outside of the house so let's get some of this I think six or seven will be enough. And there's some cacti, which will, might be helpful. You can put that around your house so zombies and enemies cannot get in. I have a feeling this won't be enough sand, but we're gonna have to need some more. Yeah, that's definitely not enough sand. Let's grab some of this cacti so no mobs or enemies can get in. And also, we have some wood over here, which will be perfect. Okay. Wait. Don't tell me this is a village. I'll... This is like the luckiest find. Oh no, this is a zombie village. Let's get away from this. Okay. So, a zombie village. It's actually the opposite of a regular village that has nice villagers. Zombie villagers are an enemy that are like villagers, except they just got turned into zombies by the other zombies. And they are pretty powerful at the beginning of your game, so I would stay away from them until you get armor and swords and stuff like that. So after we grab all this wood, what we need to do is we need to build a bigger house and turn it into planks because once you mine wood, if you turn it into planks, you'll get more um, planks than you'll get wood. Like for example, uh, I have eight seven. wood. If I take eight. one of these, it will, one wood equals four planks. Four. So if I do seven, seven logs, seven. I can get a lot more planks. Four. So now I have eight. Actually, three. no. Four. I have thirty-two. So we just need to grab a little bit more cacti, I'd say, and then let's go over here. So let's make a big protected house, and I need to save up some wood because I'm gonna need that like for um, like doors and stuff, and like crafting tables. Seven, 19, if you don't know what a crafting table is, 19, um, you can make a crafting 19, table by making four pieces of wood 15, and putting one oak plank in each f slot of the floor, and then you can make a crafting table. A crafting table allows you to make more than just a c as stuff you can make in your inventory. You can make more stuff uh, like uh, swords three. and pickaxes and stuff. Today we're not going to be doing any mining, but Three, we might have to be two, like uh, fending or safe. But right now seven, I think we need to make a wooden axe because we're going to need that for cutting down trees if 
Tab, we need any more wood. Twelve. Twelve. With twelve more wood, I think we're gonna need some more. Oh, yeah. Tab, I forgot. Um, you can make doors. Um, once you make a door, it comes into three. So it come. You get three doors once you make one door. So that's what you'll get so you can use um the other two doors for other buildings or you could put like another door at the back of your house in my opinion um if you get like spawn like in a lucky spawn like this i'd start to get food also because you'll need it um for future um oh no the sheep is leading me to the village Whoa, what just happened? Okay, so, in my opinion, I wouldn't use too many um, different, oh my gosh! I did not see that there. Okay, I came out of nowhere. This is what happens when it starts to turn nighttime. Okay, hopefully, I'll be able to finish my house without, okay, yeah, without dying. And without it turning to nighttime. And also, one thing that I need to avoid is that village back there. Because it is a zombie village and it's haunted and it has lots of enemies there that are pretty powerful in the beginning of your game. I'll tell you more about them later once we go like to mining and stuff. Okay, so. You don't need any of the sand. Or, oh no, I need to really hurry. Okay, the village is all the way over there, so I'm fine. Oh wait, I got wool some. Oh yeah, I killed the sheep, I forgot. So, also, if you kill like sheeps and mobs, they will give you different materials. Sometimes they will give you the same. Um, and sheeps, for example, will like drop raw mud in. Like one to three wall mudden. Um, they can, they will always drop white wool or actually they won't always, but they sometimes will dry, drop white wool. They usually will. It's one of the best ways to get wool, but a really good way is to make a farm and then put sheep in beside your farm, and then you can get some iron, two iron from under the ground equal shears and you can shear sheep if you and then you can get more wool each time and it won't kill the sheep Tab. oh wait i didn't know but i actually got different colors of this i hope it goes well together but also um what we're trying to do this first time is we're not trying to make it look really good we're trying to make it so that i can survive the first night in it i need to make it so that it's well protected Okay, I'm at full logs. I don't think I can do it. Oh, no. I did it. But wait. Remember about this white wool that I got? If I get another white wool, then that means I can make a bed. So, it's almost nighttime. So, we need to hurry really quickly. Also, if you, um, if you're, like, if you, like, want to, like, eat or, like, wondering how to eat something... If you can't eat at normal times, like when you like first start your adventure, because if you look at your food bar, the the things that have like the food, like the little food that like the like the ten food up there, if you look at all of them, like those, if they are like if like one of those are not full, you're able to eat. Like if you see, there's like a little fraction of one of the foods um, that's not cut, that is not um, fully covered. That means I can eat. But before I wouldn't be able to eat. Okay, I need to hurry really fast. It's almost nighttime. I only have three birch logs. I don't think that's gonna be enough. But I think I just heard some villagers. I have a feeling the regular villagers. But there is a chance it can be zombie villagers, but I don't think village zombie villagers could have made that villager noise, so. 
Ready to go. This real quick. Okay. If you're wondering if you like get like a lucky spawn and spawn in one of these lucky areas, if you mine one of these, they will give you a stick, two sticks, or they will give you no sticks. Like, I think this one. Nope. Well, they might all give you sticks. Okay, I forget. But. I th think we're going to be able to make it. Oh, it's, oh, it's almost nighttime. It's almost nighttime. Oh my gosh, we got all different colors of wood. Uh, well, almost all different colors. Oh no, we ran out of wood. We need the last three pieces of wood. We just need three more pieces of wood for the top, and these are the last three pieces. There's really bad enemies that spawn. So. Oh my gosh. Two. 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 How do you get in? Okay. Also, once you're in your secure house, Tab. well, kind of secure house, Tab. Um, that has a door, no mobs can get in except zombies. Actually, any mob, almost any mob can get in only if you are in hard mode you can change your oh, modes green. if you go to settings and you Perfect. can say um change game. your Perfect. game modes uh, game but if you go to difficulty you can pick peaceful, peaceful easy, easy normal, normal hard hard, hard means collected. um enemies are more powerful and enemies can break through doors that you placed but not d iron doors and also they normal easy list and also been normal is normal, the one that i'm in right now selected and that means that every mob is going to be normal mobs won't be able to break through your houses um and when you get hunger um it will take your hearts down to only um one and one half of a heart left Oh, I forgot to mention in hard when you are starving it will take it will actually kill you but it but as a normal, normal. List item uh, it will only go down to a half of a heart and easy, easy. it won't list even go it will only go down to half of your hearts and in peaceful the on it oh I forgot to mention item. in selected. easy enemies are really easy to kill and and peaceful Peaceful's there aren't any enemies so you are safe from anything from any mobs or any enemies or anything that can kill you difficulty pause tab on so on 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 also i'd like you guys to tell me if there's anything you'd like me to do on, in the future tab on like for example like if you want me to play like Pokemon Sword and Shield, do like any like sky block challenges or anything like that. I think right now we should start building a mine so future so in the future we can um figure out how to do the west. Oh, there's one problem. It takes a while to mine terracotta with your fist and you need like a pickaxe to do it fast. Okay, but I think we can do it for right now. Okay. If you're wondering, you might be like, but you have a, an axe, so why can't you mine the terracotta? There's only one problem. The only axes will mine wood fast. Shovels mine dirt, sand, and stuff like that fast. And... Hoes don't mine anything fast, but they do hoe things. And pickaxes mine stone, terracotta, and cobblestone, and things like that fast. And swords don't mine anything fast, just like hoes, but they are really good at attacking other things. 
I have a feeling we should go out of our house to just check on things. But it is nighttime. I'm really wondering what it's like outside and like what time of day it is. Right now, it's officially the middle of night. Or midnight. Okay. So. Let's see if axes actually. No, axes don't go any fa faster, do they? No, axes don't go any faster, but. Tab on. So, our main on. goal right now. So, if I turn this right, cool. to. Uh, okay. What our goal is. Is. We are probably gonna survive the night if we stay on our house. And we've built our house secure, secure, securely. And okay, sorry. Um, and so our next goal is gonna be a white bed. And using this white bed, I can skip through the night and I won't have to worry about getting killed. Uh, on. And I want to get some coal and some iron and some, yeah, so I can use the, some sticks that I might have left over to make torches so I can um, start to go mining. And I want to get some pickaxes out of wood so I can start going mining also. So that's our main goal. I can hear zombies. I wonder if I should kill my first zombie of the night. Or my first zombie of the game. Okay. Tab. So. I kind of wish you could eat cacti. Oh my gosh. I did that on accident. Okay. The only bad thing is my spawn point isn't set here. If you guys are wondering how to set your spawn point, you need a bed to. And then you want to click on it. But don't mine it. Press the button that you use to to place an item like this. Wait, like this. Use that button. When you have a bed, do that on the bed, and then it will say. Um, it will either say, um, you cannot sleep. Um, you cannot sleep. Um, you can only sleep at nighttime or something like that. But if you but if it is nighttime and you click on it, it will let, let you sleep in it. Another thing that will happen if it's daytime and you click on it, it will also save your spawn point. And every time you die, you will spawn right back at that area. Should I kill the zombie that's out there? Or do you think I'll die? Uh, I have a feeling uh, I'll die, so I'm going to wait a little uh, bit longer. Uh, Okay, let's just look at how the night is going. It's almost daytime. It's almost daytime. So that's good. After this, we'll be able to see what we can do and we'll try to, oh my gosh. I didn't tell you this, but zombies can stick their fists through the door holes. If that happens, you will have to just be annoyed by the zombie, or you can open up the door and kill it. It's almost daytime. Let's just check one more time if it is yet. It is officially almost daytime, but not daytime yet. Let's just check on it again. It's so loud. I can't see. It is officially daytime. Or oh, it might be. Okay. My only weapon. Oh my gosh. The we killed our first zombie, guys. That's a good accomplishment. So now that it's... Oh, also, once you see, like, it, like, it right there, and you see, like, the sky getting brighter that means it will and like the clouds start to look a little bit like pinkish and look different that is when you know it's about to get daytime so these are some enemies that i was talking about before 
So, zombie, the zombies are the ones that I was just attacking in there. That just came in my bedroom. And if you see that white guy, that guy is a skeleton. That guy, um, skeletons always ha carry bones, bows, and they will shoot at you from distances. So make sure the skeletons don't see you or they will start shooting you with you from a bow. And if you see that weird, odd villager looking, like villager zombie looking guy, that is a, a zombie villager. He's kind of like a villager and they're pretty tough to battle at the beginning of a game. And I'll show you what a skeleton does if you get too close to them. That's what they do. I think I'll get killed though. That's how powerful they are. They take down one half of a heart each arrow. So, in the next video, tell me if you would like me to go and go mining, make a bed, explore that haunted village. Tell me in the next video so I can, wait, oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you. These kind of biomes are known for their gold. And do you see how much gold that is? Wait, so we just need an, I, a, um, a pickaxe. So what I think we're gonna do in the next video is we're gonna be um, getting a stone pickaxe and binding all that gold. And then we can make gold armor and stuff. That's definitely enough gold to make all that. So, Okay, so I think we're gonna end our video here. So, I hope you have a good day and I'll see you next time and bye. It ain't my fault.